be making a custom pixel art creator. So what I mean by that is first as you can see this grid is rendered. Now we can actually draw on this grid. So for example if I want to draw a quick tree I'm switching to this color and it tells me what color I want here. And now I can just quickly draw this. And what if I accidentally made a mistake, right? So then I can actually erase that. So as you can see, everything is fine once again that I just have this tree. If you haven't already, make sure to smash that subscribe button and comment down below that you subscribe to this channel and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. What you wanna do is go ahead into the outline or costume section and create a quick cube. So all you would have to do is click on the shift and draw a perfect square. Now make sure that the inside is white and the outside is black, right? So make sure the outline is at least 19 and then make sure to center it. That's a very crucial step. So let's do the basic thing. So we want it to show when the flag gets clicked and go to a certain position and I think negative 206 and negative uh, or 113 is fine. Right? It just goes here. Now we want it to go to the right. So we want it to render like 10 times and create clone. So how would we do that? So let's just do repeat 10 times, uh, create cool in myself, change x by 37. And this would actually depend on how your how big your um, block is because we want it to be equal in space. So you, you may have to edit this change x by 37 to something else, bigger or smaller. Now let's make a block below this. So let's do Let's do another create clone of myself. So all you would have to do is duplicate this and make sure to change the Y. So now we're going to be changing the Y because we're going down. So change Y by negative 37. And what this does is it creates a clone below this. So now we want it to go to the left. So that's pretty simple, right? So all we would have to do is just duplicate this and change this into a negative value, which is negative 37. Now everything should be fine. And what if you want to do this a few more times? then we would just have to repeat this code a few more times. So let's do repeat five times, right? So it, it's gonna get executed six times at all because this is one time and then it gets repeated five more times. So five plus one is six. And I think this is pretty decent. And now after this, let's create a variable, right? So let's name it color. So everything is pretty like decent for now because we've created the grid so far, but now we want to create the like coloring part of this pixel art creator. So let's go ahead and drag this thing here and make sure to um, make it into the sliding mode and go into the costumes and create a duplicate or how much ever you want. So all you have to do is fill in this circle because these are the different colors that we're gonna use. So make sure to do that. Now as you can see, I have five different costumes. The first one is the renderer slash eraser, and these are just like what I can color. So make sure to do one click switch costume to outline because we want it to render in the color of white. And then after that, let's say when I start as clone, so all this code below is gonna get activated when we start as a clone. So forever, so if mouse down and touching mouse pointer. So this is basically to check if I'm pressing on this and if I want to, um, place the block there, right? And then all we're gonna do is switch costume to color. So let me just explain this in a second. So as you can see, everything is getting rendered here. And all the different costumes are one, two, three, four, five. And whatever like we uh, slide this to, for example, if we do like number three, then or number two, I guess, uh, or number four, it's just gonna go to that costume. So now we can color everything in blue. So as you can see, that's what's gonna happen. And there's actually a few problems with this. So the first thing is we want the slider range to be um, changed. So the minimum value is one. So what is your first costume and what is your last one? So for example, if your last one is 10, you would put 10, but mine is five. So that's pretty much it there. And now let's try one more thing. So everything is getting rendered. I think everything's fine except this part. I cannot color this part for some reason. But let me just explain that to you. Everything here and above except this one is our clones. So this one is the actual 
Um, right, and as you can see, what the code that we did was when I start as clone. So everything here can um, get painted, but this one is in a clone. So what we would have to do is duplicate this and say one click. So um, just have the same code. And now let's uh, finish rendering it. And as you can see, I can probably color this, and I can. So everything else looks fine, but the only thing is I don't know which color is which, right? So let's go ahead and duplicate this, right? And delete all the other, and let's just do a simple piece of code. One click, forever, switch costume to color. So this is gonna help us a lot because we get to know what color we wanna draw in. So make sure to do this and rename this sprite to color. So let's try this one last time and hopefully it works. So as you can see, the current color is blue, but I want to draw in, I guess, let's say, pink. So that's pink. And now let's draw in, I don't know, like green or something. So as you can see, this is pretty fun. I can draw anything I want. I can draw like a park, a tree, anything fun, like maybe a nice uh, scene of a person walking on a beach. And this is just like the costume editor right here. So that's pretty much it. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And tell me what video you want 